I don't know who needs to hear this, but so many people get discouraged out of ministry, out of church, just in life. And we think that once we decide that we're going to follow Christ, once we decide that we're going to give our everything to do what he's called us to do, and, and we're going to value Jesus above everything else in the world, we think that, that life is going to be easy. We think that, that things are going to go our way, but it, it doesn't work that way. Once we put Christ at the center of what we are, once we put him at the center of what we're doing, hey, the devil puts a target on us. Man, he knows that once we're saved, he can't touch us. He knows that he can't have us. But you know what he wants? He wants for us to just sit down in somewhere. Sit down in a pew. Sit down, be quiet, and do nothing. Because if he can silence you, if he can keep you from doing what God has called you to do, then maybe you won't win the people that God has called you to win. Maybe you won't tell them about Jesus. If you'll just sit down and be quiet, that's where the devil wants us. And we're going to run into adversaries. We're going to run into back. We're going to serve God, and there's going to be trouble. There's going to be struggles. There's going to be things that, that don't go the way we want to. Hey, I'm going to tell you a little secret. There's going to be Christians that are going to come into your path, and they are going to be obstacles for you. They are going to look at what you're doing, and it's going to be so convicting to them that they are going to be bothered. But we keep following. We keep going where he has called us to go. We keep doing what he has called us to do. Look, we're not here to, 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 to live up to what they believe, to their standards. We're not called to follow what they follow. We're called to follow Jesus. And wherever you're at today, let me encourage you, keep following Jesus. Even if nobody else understands, even if you're the only one doing it, keep following. Don't slack up. Don't slow up. Keep that cross in front of you, and you follow him wherever he leads. See, unfortunately, we often get the wrong idea, right? The Bible tells us that narrow is the way that leads to heaven, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and and we picture it as over on this side, we got the, the way that re leads to righteousness. And way over here on this side, we got the broad way that leads to destruction. But, but I believe it's a little different than that. I believe we got the, 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 the narrow way, right, that leads to, that leads to, to righteousness is going this way. And that broad way keeps crossing back and forth so you're constantly having to fight you're constantly having to push you're constantly having a battle they're pushing against you everywhere you turn hey there is a lot of people and this may be news to you but there's a lot of people sitting in the pews of churches that have never come to know christ as their savior they come because they think they're supposed to they come because they think that that's going to get them somewhere they come because they think maybe if they put money in the plate that that'll count as their righteousness that it'll count them good enough that that'll be a, a, enough to get them into heaven but they've never come to have a relationship with jesus christ and our life is about more than that we're called to give of ourselves, to give everything to Jesus. Look, if you're fighting battles today because you have made that decision, you've decided to follow him regardless of what the world say, regardless of what your friends say, regardless of what your family says, regardless of what your church says, you just want to follow Jesus, then follow him. Don't let nothing stand in your way. Wherever he leads, go. Whenever he calls, listen. It's a lot of people that are going to get in your path, that are going to try to slow you down. Don't focus on what the people say. Focus on what God has said. God bless you guys.